so it's going to be here uh, 75 equals 6. I'm going to call that plus 5G if that's okay. Can someone just share with me where I got 5G from? Yeah, real quick. Six minus one. Okay, um, what's the next step here? Somebody new. Somebody please be brave. Go and go. I multiply distribute the two into the H. Sounds good. So 75 equals 6 bracket. Oh boy. One, I can't do the measure. 70. Thank you. Great. Somebody else here be brave and tell me to do next. Summer go. That was Sounds good. Okay, so 75 equals 6 times 172 minus 49. Is that right? Okay. What comes next, please? What comes next? Give it the 6. Uh, I'm going to also do it two things in one time. I'll call that 150. Uh, 6 times 172, I can't do. I can't do these in my head. They're too big. This is a big number, 294. Okay. Okay, now, I will be kind to you. This, I know you can't believe that your teacher will be kind. Okay. The numbers will work out on your test and your assignment for A and D for these, okay? So that's just sort of like a, a, when you're working on it, did I make a mistake? Are these answers or questions? Is there like, can we just do that or can we just like... As long as you get D equals 3, I don't care. Okay. Right? I'm assuming, I'm assuming you guys told me to, if I was doing this, my first step would be 6 over 2 is equal to 3. That would be my first step, right? And, um, but you guys do it any way you want. And then 75 divided by 3 is equal to 25. Get the numbers going. That's what I would do, but anyway, as long as you get D equals 3, I don't really care. That's about it. I do care about you guys tremendously. Okay, but I don't care which way you get the final answer. Yeah, so I'm going to. Um, so if you multiply the 3 on the bottom. Yeah, across. Yeah. Divided by 6, so um, yeah. yeah. So to get 1, yes, you would have got 25. Um, so 25 equals 172. Yeah, that would have worked as well. Okay, so I have D equals 3. Can someone new tell me what A is? Yeah, Chris, so go ahead. Okay, so we're looking good, but not yet great. What am I actually trying to solve here? Oh, and go. S50. S50, good. So how do I do that, Owen? So you use your SN equals N to the right to 3 plus N minus 1 times B to the right to the right to the right to the right to the and of what? One second. And I'm going to say A is equals equal to 5. Uh, D is equal to 3 and N is equal to 50, is that right? Okay, yes, so far so good. Uh, so everything and then some will hopefully be the final answer. Okay, this is one that I will very, very often um, put in a word problem. I will say, Matt, that for the St. Mary's High School class decides to go to the Raptors game, assuming they're still in the playoffs. Um, Matt sits in the fifth row and notices there are how many people in that row. Mr. Sadler sits in the 211th row because he doesn't have any money, and there are 3,000 kids, okay? 
Wow. If there are 8,000 rows in the Raptor Stadium, how many people have been there all together? That'll be sort of like that. It's the very same question, right? It's a wrap in these seconds. Yes. 8,000 rows. Okay, I'm exaggerating slightly. <laughs> okay, right. And actually, I did that wrong on the first time I did a quiz like this. I used Maple Leaf Gardens. And I said there are about 100 people in the first row. And it goes up by 8% each row. And if there are, and I didn't even check the question, I just wrote it out. And I said, you know, if there are 50 rows, there are 150 rows of students. And there are like 8 million people or something like this. It's <laughs> exponential, right? You know what I mean? But grew and grew and grew. So lesson learned. Uh, check your work for you. Uh, here, right? but, uh, here's your homework for tonight. It's going to be page 352. Sorry, 452. Although I make these jokes about the sports stadiums, why is it possible that a normal sports stadium would have uh, either linear or exponential growth? Let's say you go to any sports stadium. Let's even talk about the, uh, the Bayshore. Why is the Bayshore not going to be perfectly linear or exponential? No, we have to see. Let's assume it's a full house. Let's assume you know that Mr. Stab is coming to town to teach math and everyone is still all the way through. Why would it not be that most of the seats go perfectly? No, a circle would be okay. Well, I was sort of hoping there would be one. No, I know about that. You said that doesn't always happen. Well, yeah, but why though? Because like, there's stair. Yeah, stair things are in there. There's like the places the Zamboni drives in, right? There's things like where the players come in and then above there's still seats, right? So um, probably the best one would be would be like probably, um, I don't even know if there would be one. Tennis. Tennis, tennis, but, but even for the tennis one, there'd still be a, a hole at the bottom right for people to walk into, right? You know what I mean? So if you ignore that, then yes. No, so he doesn't have all of the all on the same starting point. You see what I mean? That's why it's a little bit inaccurate. All right, enough with that. There's your homework for tonight. Um, I'm going to pause the video. Uh, people have.